What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jad here from Poopa Plow Plays so more Farming Simulator 22. We're back here at Westbrook Hills. Let's get to it. Arson, you here? Yep. Hello? What's up? Uh, uh, not this guy. It officially fell here last night. <laughs> Remember, was it yesterday when I said what's up? And I said the ceiling, and you said the sky? Yeah, boy, was I wrong. Yeah. Boy, was I wrong. Mother Nature had a different plan for you. Oh, did it ever. All right, so are we going to... Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? We need to plant more wheat. So I'm thinking 15 and 18 in wheat. We don't really need corn 18. again, right? 18 what? What's in 18? Nothing. It's been harvested and mulched, so it should be good to go. I would say we plant 15 and 18 real quick and wheat uh, for straw. But yeah. You think we need a trash king? Why? So you can put it on a roof, Dan? Just saying. Uh, big dog, I'm doing all right. How are you? Steven 829 shared X100. Any water damage? Uh, Steven, not really any damage. We did take a little bit of water in the basement, but if you, okay, I'm going to paint a picture for you real quick. If you're in my basement and you're over by the washing machine, there's like a little doorway there that goes into like the room where the washing machine's at. Right in front of you from that doorway is a hot water heater. Okay. To the left of the hot water heater is the floor drain for the basement. And right behind the hot water heater is a window. Okay, a little bit of water came through that window and ran right to the floor drain. So, didn't do, like, there were no, no, like, negative effects, basically. It just ran right to a floor drain. So, I've got fans on downstairs. I got a dehumidifier rolling. Uh, stuff like that. But other than that, no, we didn't have any damage, per se, you know. Which is good. But, man, I will tell you, it's, uh, it's a little wet out there, Steven. That much is for sure. All right, we are planting wheat. All right, farming. Farming. Also did science. Seven, eight, and nine. Jeez, that's crazy. Uh, Vegas ball. That's a big field. Uh, Wyoming cowboy, what's going on? How are you? Welcome on in. Because we should be able to skip corn one time, right? For the chaff. Yeah. Somebody just called it because standing water on a roadway. Really? Wow. There's been no reports of that here lately, chat. Wow. Wow. Somebody yeah. about to get like a prize or something. <laughs> Really, water on a road. Haven't heard that in the last 12 hours. Mm -mm. So, Chad, I told Carson earlier, but I was laying in bed 3 o'clock in the morning, and I just, just got into bed. And I'm on TikTok, right? Phone's right in front of my face. And all of a sudden, uh, the flash flood warning came across. Which is funny, because it actually came across to my phone, like, hours before through my, like, weather app. But, like, the actual, like, emergency alert system one played the tones and everything. Dude, I about threw my phone. And then it happened again like 10 minutes later. Because we got a... They, they extended the flash flood warning. It was the whole thing. Runway. No, road. It could be a runway. You never know. Sounds a bit moist. Fire shadow. I don't... I don't... We got like 10, in, 10 12 inches of rain last night. Depending on where you're at around St. Louis. And... and Probably, I bet you there's local spots that got more than, more than that even, you know, if I had to guess. So it, it is definitely a bit moist here. In, in fact, it, you could say it's sloppy out there. Okay. Seagull, what's going on, man? Uh, the river level, that's what's up. <laughs> Just saying. You almost have a flashlight of your own. 
Yeah, my aunt. She, my aunt. We recently got her a cell phone back, uh, probably in the spring, over the winter, and she's never had to deal with it before. She's like, "Yeah, my darn phone kept going off last night." And I was like, "Yeah, huh? send it your way, fire. You don't want ten inches of rain in like six hours, do you?" Oh. How much of the rain deficit was made up last night? I don't know, but it's not beneficial rain when it comes down that hard. Unless you're trying to fill a lake or like a reservoir, you know. Well, what's going on, man? How are you? Well, if you forgot where the low spots are around the St. Louis <laughs> Metro, you found them. That was the spot that left posted in Discord. <laughs> yeah. That really sucks, too, because I'm assuming you, it's hard to tell, but I assume it got the shopping center, right? I would assume so. And that's all like not even five years old. <laughs> oh, it's underwater today, Chad. I shouldn't laugh at it. It's not good, but hopefully, I mean, there wouldn't have been like any employees there or anything at that time. So, cows could use the water. Got gotcha, fire. But yeah, it's not really beneficial rain, like for for growing crops and stuff. Yes, the ground will be wet, and and yes, the plants will absorb some of it, but a lot of it's just gonna run off. When you get that kind of rain, it really, you might as well not even get rain, to be honest, at least in my opinion, because it just, it just runs off. So it does a really good job of filling creeks and streams, but that's about it. So, yeah. Now, you know, if we were, say, out west or something, or they're trying to fill up, you know, like me, like, bring it on, right? Which would, all it would do is cause landslides and stuff, but, you know. But that's going on here too. We're getting landslides too, so which is not something we normally deal with here. Landslides are not very common. Actually, it's been so dry here, chat, that the amount of water main breaks around the St. Louis area has been just through the roof. Because like the grounds dry that far down, and it's shifting, and you know, it's a it's a whole thing. So yeah. Kind of crazy if you really think about it. But left was right on the mark last night. He he said in stream that I was going to get weather starting around midnight. And I think at 1223 is when I uh, unplugged my computers. Because I was in team speak and they couldn't understand me. I was getting 60% packet loss there for a while. And uh, I was like, all right, I'm just going to leave team speak. And then, boy, the lightning hit. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. First time probably wouldn't want me to tell you all this, but like I was in my living room last night, just like scrolling TikTok during the storm, and he was in like, you know, the bathroom, and lightning hit so hard I just heard him like cuss and scream from the bathroom. <laughs> uh, dog boy, what's up? The first time he didn't hear that chat, so shh, don't tell him. Oh, man, it made me laugh. I was sitting there and just laughing. Like, this is great. Oh, man. So, yeah, it was uh, it was real. Our power never flashed or anything, so I was, I was happy about that. But, uh, yeah. And then it was, like, 61 degrees, and it was like, man, it's hot in this house. <laughs> we, like, turned our air down. Two plus two fan club. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it was uh it was a good time. It was a good time. What? You must have had like a thunderstorm come through or something there, uh, Stephen. One point seven will be out before Vermeer. Interesting. That's crazy. We had an Xbox one time, Xbox three sixty, Stephen, that was totally functional. Everything was great. We had a thunderstorm come through, and the Ethernet adapter quit working. Everything else on it was fine. 
Just the Ethernet stopped, and so we bought like one of those wireless adapters. Worked fine for literally years after that. Like, okay. I guess they got zapped. I don't know. Nothing else had an issue. But yeah, it was uh, it was kind of strange. I guess I should watch those podcasts that they put out, but they're kind of hard to watch, in my opinion. Just saying. I've tried. I just... Yeah, you know. I've tried. I'll just say that much. I've tried. But that's okay. Did I really miss a little... When I started, I missed a little bit. Can't have anything nice, chat, huh? You know, if a tractor's not on a roof, then, man, who knows? Who knows? Oh! 300 for your... Pr oh, man, Steven, that sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah, your modem. Yes. Which the modem that could have had like through the through the, the the cable or whatever too from you know what I mean. Lightning. Hey, lightning. It was really nice of you to pay me a visit last night, but you were really loud and 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 really bright. And I don't want to say scary, because I'm not really scared, but I might have jumped a couple times, okay? So, you know, next time you come around, just, like, you know, chill chill out a little bit, okay? But hi, Lightning, how are you? We, we may have gotten, like, 10 to 12 inches of rain last night, which, yes, is a lot. Yeah. Luckily, no, like, tornado or not even severe thunderstorm warnings. Was kind of interesting so how do i like the flooding on 70 well since i uh i commute to work is two steps out here to the garage uh it doesn't affect my commute to work or anything uh probably affects some of my family actually to be honest with you but i haven't heard uh but yeah it sucks but that's what you get for building in low-lying areas right it happens Definitely happens. And actually that Get the life rafts out. Yeah, pretty much. Hang on, I need to go to Academy. Can somebody get me a life Wait. Raft? Wait. Wait, they Wait. sell canoes and stuff, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> However. <laughs> where's your academy at? Underwater. The academy is the one that got flooded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I'm not saying that's my academy. I just know that I know where that is. I don't live that close to that academy or the record, but I do know where that is. I've been through there many, many times where that academy is, but I don't live close to it for the record, just in case anybody's curious. When you did drive through there, was it via, via, via like a boat? Well, no, because it wasn't in the last 12 hours. Oh, okay. Dan, I don't know. There's something wrong with the field. What do you What do you want me to do about it? I'll fix it. Playing the update. Yes, GTA. Yes. By the way, I, I'm I I don't care what else is going unless we get another thunderstorm. Uh, I'm playing GTA tonight off stream, and I'm I'm working on my businesses because you know you can now do that in an invite only session. Is there a hard working man? I'm a hot work in my that's a good song by the way mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right let's do it you were thinking of going in that direction I would imagine that's probably drained out by now they reopened 70 yeah uh they should have mm -hmm. follow appreciate you welcome in how's it going um 
I, I am hearing about some road closures and, and stuff, but nothing on like the major roads. So there's a new sniper. Nice. Very nice. There, they just called out like a low hanging wire. I wonder what this tree crew is doing across the street from me because they have not fired up a chainsaw or a chipper and they've been there for 40 minutes now. Unless there's like power lines down over there, which I don't, there might be actually. Let me look. Check my, uh, my map. Map. It's the map. It's the map. <laughs> Probably. Where's my map? I have a map here. Uh, bu 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 that, this map right here. There we go. It's our uh, local power company, by the way. Y'all can, you know, it's kind of fun, uh, to be honest, to, to look at the uh, outage map of the local power company. Kind of fun sometimes, you know? On just like a normal Tuesday, no storms or anything, you're just like, oh, there's 10 people out of power over there. Kind of interesting. Um, ah, it sucks to be them. <laughs> Okay, all I'm going to say is normally in my neighborhood, and there's power outages all over the place, so it's, I'm not giving anything away here, uh, but normally in my neighborhood, the, we'll say like my run is the one that always loses power. So it'd be like my side of the street and then the, the side of the street behind us. So like our power poles are in our backyard. It's the houses across the street. They lost power now. <laughs> Sucks to suck. <sighs> You get the great harvester that comes with the beacon light. Really? Interesting. Carson, I don't know about you, but uh, I need to uh, go fill up with seed and stuff. Yeah. I bet you do too, don't you? So I wonder if they're waiting on utilities to pull some uh, power lines back through. Cause they're just they're just sitting there. I don't really know what they're doing. Oh yeah. Remember that? Was that last fall? Summer? It was last it was last summer. They they during that whenever they did the Field of Dreams baseball game. We lost power that night because of a tree that fell. The tree trunk is still laying in the one house's backyard. It's still there. Apparently, they're fighting with the insurance company of the other house still. Trenton Zach Cheer Tex 100 Shello. Uh, Trent, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for the bits. Trent, how much rain did you get last night? Trent's only a few hours away from me, Trent. Although, I don't think he... I think he's not in, like, the bad bed. That lightning last night was amazing. It really was. It was incredible. Oh. Trent, we got like 10 or 12 inches here. <laughs> it's freaking hey, wet. Bye. You're leaving? Yeah. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> Your MC can have the bike customization. Yes. Yeah, Wyoming, I actually uh, been watching TikToks about like new features on GTA. Yeah. I've, I've been watching a bunch of those videos because there is a ton of stuff. Yeah. Man, it's raining right now. We need the rain. I wish it would stop for like days. It can rain after that. I'm cool with that. But right now, I wish it would hold off maybe a little bit. I wonder if he's leaving, leaving, or just for a little bit. Kind of parks like right in the way. Hmm. Interesting. There's something pump. Oh, you have an inch of water in your basement? No. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear you have an inch of water in your basement, man. 
It's actually something that we don't have in this house, and I wish we did, was a sump. Uh, we just, we never needed one. Oh, yeah. Oh, nothing is down there. Oh, gotcha. Well, that's, that's better, but still. It's not good to have water in your house in general. But occasionally, if we get a really, really, really wet spell, there'll be one little wet spot that'll appear on the floor in my basement. Other than that, it's like we don't have the issues. So, and, and if it does come through that spot in the floor, it just goes right to the floor drain, so. Just an empty basement? Gotcha. I, uh, my one brother, my si oh man, when my sister bought her house, chat my sister when she bought her house uh we went down there it was actually the day like the the realtor was showing us the house right and we walked downstairs and this floor is just full of little cracks which okay it's a basement floor whatever not a big deal every single crack had water running out of it all running towards the floor drain and we're just like what or I mean it was one of the wettest times like on record in Missouri in St. Louis so we're just like okay it's super wet we realize that but still this is not okay you know so before buying the house she actually made the sellers put a uh, sump pump sump pump in and they they went around the whole inside of the basement and put like the drain stuff in so like if water were to run down the wall or come to the floor or whatever it would it would catch it all you talk about a mess and oh it was quite a job let me tell you but those guys did a good job with it once they fixed a few issues that weren't you know up to, to my standards we'll say like they they glued the pvc pipe on the top of the pump and you know they make purple uh primer for a reason or the they make the primer purple for a reason so you can see that it's it was used they didn't use any and uh I was kind of adamant with my sister. I'm like, yo, you need to get these guys back out here. And like, I want to talk to them. Like you get them out here. I'll be at the house. I will talk to them, you know? And, uh, uh, right now, uh, lightning is just really Dan Carson's here, but I think he's actually leaving, but we'll see. Um, so we had the, had the company come back out and I'm at her house with her. And they weren't even moved in or anything at the time. It's just literally an empty house. And I was like, you know, this is this is kind of like shady workmanship here. And the guy's like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And I go, dude, there's no primer on this on this pipe. I'm like, they make it purple so that you can, you know, inspectors can see it and stuff. And he goes, oh no, 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 we we don't use that. And I was like, there's a problem. And I grabbed the PVC pipe, and I tell you what, I barely like touched it or turn. I didn't even like, I barely touched it, right? And the the elbow, so like the PVC pipe came straight out of the sump pit, had, a, had an elbow, and then went out through the wall. The elbow came off the top of the pipe. And you can see where they might have put a little tiny bit of glue. And I said, uh, you see we have a problem here, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, the pump was on, and it was like a water fountain in the basement. <laughs> and then what got me is the pipe that goes outside actually runs uphill so it's not going to drain that little bit that's like through the wall and outside it it's going to hold water all winter yo rocks what's up bro how you doing but it's like okay first off you should run that a little downhill so water drains just saying and in my opinion of course i'm not a plumber but you know come on drain that water and then yeah the pipe literally came apart and was like a fountain in the basement and the guy's like yeah, I guess we need to fix that, huh? I was like, yeah, you do. And you better use primer this time. So. The best part was we actually, like, my dad knows the owner of the company. So, like, things finally got taken care of the correct way. Once it was like, hey, you may call your owner. And the guy's like, oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. So we had to, like, threaten him to, like, get it done right. You know, it was like, geez. But the best part is once it dried up that year. There's some pit like never runs, like never. There's just no water in it now, like ever. So they literally did all that work for like, you know, a month, uh, which I guess it, it might run like right now. 
because, you know, it's a little, a little moist out there, but that's okay. It happens. It definitely happens. All right, let's get our numbers in here for the day. I don't know why we have to click on these fields to load all the environmental numbers. To me, that should be uh, addressed when in seasons, but hey, oh, I know. So we have a 98 overall. We're still missing some on these hay fields. We need to actually spray them for, uh, I know there's no weeds, but we actually do need to spray them. It's, it's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing, chat. Our fertilizer is so bad, but that's what that needs, so it's fine. We have, what do we have up there? Sunflowers? Lots of sunflowers, yeah. I'm just going to sell those out right. Be, be done with it. Hey, uh, Rox, I saw there was an update for flashing lights. What's new in there? What's new in there? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Absolutely, you can plow those together. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, if you really want to get crazy, well, no, this is—is is this a paved road here? Some versions of Westbridge, this is not a paved road. Some it is, but I think it's paved here. So you can plow like a lot together if you really get crazy with it. You get crazy with it. Do a lot. A lot. A lot. Okay. Oh, okay. I I don't know. I don't know what the update was. I just know that there was one, Fox. And I know you're the, the flashing light guy. Actually, you could totally pay, like plow this road, couldn't you, if you wanted to? You totally could. But, yeah. Be a whole thing. Well, drop the seat. You're a little slower, bud. Come on. We need to adjust our, our speed on our hydraulics. Dang. You can plow the paved roads. There you go. There you go. Robot. I might have been dropping like 60% packets. Uh, Trent, yes. Uh, okay, so if you could plow the ground, so like, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 20, 19. <laughs> plow it all. I mean, you could plow 10 and 11 into that, and you could plow 11 into 17 if you really wanted to, and you could plow it into 12. And, and three imagine how long that border would take you to go around like oh my gosh you'd spend like four hours going around the border so it's chat 60 percent plus outbound packet loss last night and i was trying to talk to him in team speak and for some reason they couldn't understand me and they just kept laughing at me i was like that's rude i, I actually didn't think it was rude i thought it was funny i was laughing I would like scream something and then like they would laugh and then I'd scream something and they would laugh. It was funny. Yeah. From 18 to 13. What? Wait, is this a paved road here? Goodness me. Goodness me. Oh, I got your rocks. Okay. I really have high hopes for that game, but I just don't know if it's ever going to actually get there. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't know if it's ever going to get there. Wait, what, Troy? Wait, is my title weird or something? Troy, always popping, bro. Can you put the smack down on Mother Nature for dumping 12 inches of rain last night? Keegan West fail 983 just resubscribed for 16 months. 
Keegan, thank you so much for the 16 month resub. How are you doing today? Is that what we're doing? Like, can you can you arrange that, Troy? The whole area was underwater last night. And 12 inches of rain in, in less than 12 hours. Yeah. It was, it was kind of real. Welcome in. You're, you're good. Awesome. No, I'm talking a little out of my, out of my league. Yes, Leonard, uh, across the St. Louis area, we got anywhere from 10 to 12 and probably more in, in local, uh, local, like isolated areas. Yeah. Uh, highway 70. This is not close to my house, by the way, chat highway 70 at, um, uh, what's that called? Mid rivers mall underwater all night last night. Um, there's a, there's a big Academy. There's a Burlington uh something else there's all kinds of shopping out there and that was all underwater like under at least a couple feet of water it looks like so yeah that's cute oh i got your rocks that's cool i got you Uh, yeah, I can't wait to go to the farm tomorrow, Leonard. Our ring gauge holds, I think, six inches, so it should be full. <laughs> September's update is just EMS. I got you. It took you two years, Leonard, huh? <laughs> it took us less than 12 hours. And the worst part is it's still raining. <laughs> now, the rain that's here today, or yeah, during the daylight hours is not bad. Last night, though, man, I tell you what, it was absolutely just like buckets coming down, man. It was crazy. It was some of the heaviest rain I've ever seen. Absolutely just the heaviest rain. Okay, it's actually right this second. I don't think it's raining, but there is more rain in the area. So. But there's quite a swath that goes from like north of Columbia I mean, you can follow the warnings that are out there. North of Columbia, down through St. Louis, and out, out to the to the east. Uh, southeast of St. Louis a little bit there. So it's just like... I live somewhere in that swath chat. We'll just say that much, okay? And it absolutely poured me. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. It was so crazy. I am talking about the flooding near St. Louis. Yes, I live uh, just outside of St. Louis, somewhere in the band that got, you know, 10 or 12 inches of rain last night. It rained here yesterday, but it evaporated. Yeah, I'm a rider. I'm sorry. <laughs> Finally, after two weeks, the humidity has gone down. Well, that's good, Sean. You want 12 inches of rain now? Oh man. It rained. <laughs> wow, Troy. That's just when it becomes more humid, when it evaporates before it hits the ground. You're just like, ugh. At least rain and cool things down for a few minutes, you know? That would be. That would just be, be lovely. But no. Shotgun Vengeance. I mean, we get big rains, but. Not like this, you know, we'll get like a six inch rainstorm. That's that happens, you know, but to get 10 or more inches of rain overnight like that, that's, that's a lot of rain. Yeah. That's a lot of rain. So it happens, but it's, it's a lot. Oh so, yeah. Yesterday was nice and cool. 76. Wow. It's it's like nice out there. I mean temperature wise it's great, but you know, still kinda kinda moist. <laughs> yeah. When you resupply Oh nice. Nice Wyoming. Your passenger window. 
Interesting, Sean. Interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, it was, oh boy, it was real. It was real here last night, Chad. I can tell you that much. And the scary part to me is you guys know I'm a, I'm a scanner guy, right? I'm always on the scanner. The, uh, the scanner was offline last night. Because during the storm, a scanner is a great thing to listen to because you can track damage. And you can you can really get a good judge of how bad the storm is uh, when you're listening to the scanner because you'll get reports of wires down or, or whatever. And the scanner was down last night and I was like, uh-oh, this is bad. Grizzled all day. Gotcha. It's rocks. But yeah, it, it's like when the scanner goes down, that's when I get a little nervous. Like, hey, how bad is this storm? But it was never severe thunderstorm warned. So it wasn't going to be that bad. There was just a lot of lightning. Golly, the lightning was real. I actually recorded some on some of my uh, security cameras. It was real. Let me just tell you that much. Very, very real. Yeah, it was, uh, it was something. That's for sure. Definitely something. So Carson literally, he's still in a cedar. He is. He literally just said, okay, I'm leaving and like, didn't leave the game. That's fun. That's fun. I should be curious to hear if any of my family, uh, not saying my family goes through that particular area of, uh, highway 70 that was closed today, but be interested to hear if any of them were inconvenienced going to work today. You know, my commute out here to the garage was not affected, of course, but family all goes to work. So be interested to hear if, uh, any of their commutes were affected. So I'll talk to dad later. He'll let me know. He usually knows. Be very interesting to go to the farm tomorrow and see how wet it is. Yeah. Age out spotters. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that they, I've never heard anything about spotters on uh, the scanner. I listened to anyway. Never heard anything on there. But yeah, no, it's it's fun to I yeah, I'm all about the scanner. Indie road course this weekend. Nice Sean. Don't know if they will disqualify any winners again. Oh, that's funny. Did they ever say what it was? Uh Sean, like what they actually found that caused them to uh disqualify? Because I, I haven't heard. I don't really. Yeah. Hey, man. Those tricky stairs. You got to watch out for them. Box, I'm telling you. Clear tape. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. That tree crew is still across the street from me. And they're not doing anything to that. I just heard him make some noise out there. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. That's okay. About four inches at one time at most. I mean, I'm not saying it's a common thing for us to get six inches, but it's happened. Piece of tape. Oh. And that caused them to, okay. What's the advantage? I don't, I don't. Seems kind of weird. They must be waiting for the power. No, now it's just a boom truck. Okay. The other guys have left. There's just a boom truck sitting there now. Interesting. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you, Sean. Yeah, that's why I was confused. I'm like, what can tape do on a NASCAR? Apparently, it can do. 
All right, check on my radar one more time, chat. Crazy, crazy. I will say, uh, like, I, I keep talking about that area of Highway 70. Um, if you guys go on a... Oh, what's it called? I told Carson I wasn't going to talk about this, but I will anyway, because like, I keep saying it's not close to me. Um... Like where you can see river like levels and stuff, river gauges, you know. Hunter bonus. Oh. No. You'll take the win no matter how you get it, right, Hunter Boss? Down fours on the car. I got you. Okay. But anyway, if you go and it's it's right actually down the road from where that picture is that left posted in Discord. There's a river gauge there on a creek. That creek yesterday was about two feet. It's 24 feet right now. <laughs> it went up 22 feet overnight. <laughs> uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? 22 feet overnight trap. This creek. The river, the gauge of the creek there. Oh, yeah, down for us. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But, yeah. And I, I will talk about that area because, like I said, I don't live near that area. That's not close to me at all. I'm just aware of that area. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many times I'm going to say that today, but, yeah. Kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, 22 feet overnight. Just boom, straight up. Now that creek, I, I know from checking river gauges and stuff over the years, like that creek goes up quite a bit, up and down quite a bit, but still, to go from two feet to 24 feet overnight, that's a lot. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Just saying. So, yeah, that's, uh, that one's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Now people are calling in to 911 and saying like they can't get a hold of a loved one that lives somewhere near the flooding. So like, that's not good. That's not good. Sled devil, what's going on? How are you? Welcome in. How are you doing? All right. Stuff is moving over here. Sorry, chat. You know when you see something update? All right. Oh, not that move now. All right, sorry, I'm breaking stuff over here, chat. I need to stop breaking stuff. But anyway. Yeah, I have a feeling local news, uh, local St. Louis news, all it's going to be today is flooding was reported. Water rescues were reported. Flooding was reported. That's all it's going to be. That's, that's it. I heard about a landslide earlier on the scanner even, you know. So we are currently planting... Oh, Heat. Wheat. Uh, we need more uh, straw for our cows. We have, you know, 800 cows now. So, they require a lot of straw for their bedding, if nothing else. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to get to that, right? We'll have to get to that, of course. Oh, yeah. So I'm not associated or affiliated with first responders at all. I'm not a first responder. Um, it, that That's not in my blood to do, you know? Um, but I grew up hanging out with my grandpa a lot. And my grandpa had like a legitimate like tabletop scanner. It had like the lights that would move, you know? It, it was a whole thing. And I remember like playing tractors with grandpa or 
I, Grandpa wasn't playing tractors, let's be real. I remember like playing tractors on the floor in his living room when I was a kid and he would always have his scanner on. So the scanner was kind of ingrained in my brain back in the day. Yeah. Uh, Troy to your DM, uh, somebody spam stuff yesterday and got banned. That's why. But it's, I took care of it. It's all good. But yeah, no. So I'm not affiliated with uh, first responders. I just, I don't know. I'm fascinated by it. Yeah. We getting some work done where you've been going on vacation. Oh, we've done a lot of work on this map. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, Trent. Trent, are you mowing again today? Is that what you're doing? Trent's been out doing some mowing. But yeah, so that's that's where the whole first responder thing comes for me. Uh, listening to scanners, um, I like to be aware of what's around me too. Like a lot of times, it's like I see a, a like a plane or something at the farm. Like I'll even like pull up flight radar. I just like to be aware of my surroundings and like I know what's going on. You know, so if I hear sirens going down the main road, I know where they're going. You know, they're not going for like my neighborhood or one of my neighbors or, you know, something like that. You know, I don't know. I just like to be aware and kind of what's going on. Yes. Okay. And like a lot of, uh, uh, there's so much stuff that happens that you just never hear about. Like if you watch local news, you know? Just by listening to the scanner, you just know a lot of stuff. Maybe I'm just nosy, but it, I don't know. I don't know. I always, like, it reminds me of my grandpa, so I like listening to it for that reason, because he was a cool dude. And I, I didn't get to spend en uh, enough time with him, you know? So, yeah. Game not what's going on, man? How are you? Welcome in. So the reason I didn't get to spend enough time with him is my dad's the youngest in his family and I'm the youngest in my family. So grandpa was really old by the time I came around, you know, to say it, not really old. I mean, he only lived to be what, 87 only, I mean, that's good life, right? But it is what it is. I spent a bunch of time with him when I was younger and yeah. Airlock, what's up? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome on in. So who's still scratching their head from Captain of Industry last night? Because I feel like I I feel like I was still scratching my head from last night, Chad. Just got done cleaning the farm truck. Nice. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. You know, there's still a lot of stuff on my brain, but uh, just thankful that our house didn't float away last night with all that rain, you know? This thing doesn't really appear to be too much damage where I'm at from that storm, so. Yeah. What happened last night, Rocks? On Captain of Industry, I got. Um, oh, what's it called? Electronics 2 set up which requires um, you have to have graphite and you have to have quartz that you're refining and stuff. And there's a lot to it to just make electronics two. to go from electronic one to electronic two. There's a lot involved and I unlocked all of my uh, semiconductor stuff, microchip stuff, whatever it is. And that is a 12 step process apparently to get those actually up and running. So I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I'll get to it eventually, but I'm going to have to like look at a picture or a video or something and like basically just build what's in the video, you know, because it's a 12 step process to get what you need out of there. So, 12 different buildings. I just shake my head and say no thank you. But I have to have it to go any farther in the game. And I want to go farther in the game. I want to finish the game. I want to, like, 
shoot the rocket into space, you know, I think is the final thing. I don't really know what the end goal is besides that, but um, we're, we're close. We're close, but you know what I mean? So. Left, I, dude, I was rowing my little boat. No left, I didn't need a boat. I live in a, like, I don't want to say on top of the hill because I have a, I'm not at the top of the hill. But, like, if my house, like, actually floods, like, say my street actually floods, dude, we got problems, okay? Because 80% of my town is going to be underwater. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there were places left. I mean, I, I know you saw that one out there. Out, out there at Highway 70 out there, yonder. Uh, I was talking about it before, left right up the road from there. Uh, just west on 70, there's a creek. And that river, the, the gauge on that creek went from two feet to 24 feet overnight left. So a bit of a problem there. Just a little bit. Oh man. The good thing is it's all like ball fields and kind of a park and stuff. And it's all built to like go underwater. There's no like buildings there, I guess. So it's, it's not something that's, uh, is too uncommon to go underwater, to be honest. So, and then there's a huge levee that protects like the town right there. So hopefully the town was good. I mean, I'm sure it had some like local lo localized flooding and stuff. Obviously that part of the highway and stuff was a little, little closed. So yeah, just just a little closed there. Oh, you're coming through tomorrow left. I think it'll be fine. It's it's open. Uh, it was open this morning at some point. I don't remember. I, Arson said when he heard they opened it, but sometime this morning they opened it, so it should be good. Although they're talking more rain, more rain tomorrow. <laughs> it's still raining in the area too. That's the scary part. Not heavy, but at this point, rain is rain, right? <laughs> So we don't need any more for a couple days. Have I seen where you can rip a Kool-Aid pop right in half? Uh, yes. I do watch TikTok. Fun fact, I was never allowed to have those as a kid. We were not allowed. I think it was just a money thing. And I know they're super cheap, but like we were broke, so... Yeah, I think it was just a money thing, honestly. Yeah. We used to look forward to it every summer. Oh, man. Memories chat. They just hit me. Every summer for the 4th of July when I was a kid, we would go up to where Dad works. And the town, the town that Dad works in, their parade used to go right down the street in front of where Dad worked. So... Even if the parking lot was full of just like random people parking, whatever, that's fine. We would open up the gate and park like out back, you know, because we had access to the back parking lot. And uh, we we would always go up there and there was always one group, and I can't remember who it was, but they would hand those out in the parade. And I just remember thinking like, it was so cool. And those are like the only ones I ever had grown up was were literally at a parade. But, yeah. been doing that for years, years Troy I got gotcha. you I don't think it's gonna float left don't you weigh like 80,000 I don't think that's gonna float maybe if your like trailer was empty it might help but I don't know if you need some alternate routes uh hit me up I'll uh I'll guide you around the, the flood water Oh man, hey, we need more seat chat. Got a seat. Good. That's good. Alright, Carson's still sitting here even though he said he had to leave, so. I don't know, man. Alright. But now hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's good for you left. Got a seat, or fertilizer too, chat. 
Oh, that's a hundred thousand dollars gone. Ouch. Gotta have it though, chat. All right. Back to the field. This is only our like 12th trip. Literally. All right. Back to the field we go. Oh, 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 okay. All right, there's a fence there. Hey, did y'all know there's a fence there? Kind of forgot about that fence being there, chat. It happens, I guess. All right. We have a lot of sunflowers to harvest, y'all. Lots of sunflowers. Where were we at? There we were, up there. All right. Hit that button. Biggest bull, what? Biggest bull, what? Bro, it's kind of sick. Kind of sick, bro. So Vigorous Bull just posted a picture on Discord. He's using some kind of hitch. I don't know what that is. But he's using a hitch thing. And he's able to pull, like, the world with it. He's got a bunch of mulchers. Pretty cool. 21 miles an hour. Dang. Pretty awesome. Yesterday, your friend had a party at the farm. Nice. Only took you eight loads of lime. Holy cow, left. That's a little real, huh? Eight loads of lime. Dang. That's a lot of lime. That is one thing about that spreader. I wish it had, like, just a little bit more capacity, you know? Maybe a couple thousand, that's all. Nothing too crazy. Like, literally nothing too crazy, but just a little bit more would be nice. Uh, big wag. Sorry, man. I would, hey, you know, sharing is caring, and, uh, I, I care, okay? I'm just... I'm sorry I didn't share. Uh, I do apologize. Next time, you know, I'll I'll go outside and uh, with a with a fan, and I'll I'll redirect to the boot heel. Okay. How's it going, by the way? Welcome it. <laughs> the lack of internet is one crazy idea. <laughs> oh, I got you, bigger as well. Yeah, I'll go outside with a giant fan and and redirect uh, a little bit of rain. That's crazy. Uh, left. I'm I'm staying dry, so that's good, right? <laughs> that part's good. You got some rain down there, right on the right on the Missouri Arkansas border. There's some rain. Not quite in the boot heel, but close. That counts, right? It freaking poured here last night. I'm telling you, it's I've not seen rain like that in a while, man. It's been it's been years since I've seen rain like that. Craziness. Part of the JD, okay. Is that for pulling like cedars or like old drills, I should say? Uh, Vigorous Ball, is that what that hitch is for? Because I think I've seen that one before. I think. I don't have it installed, but I think I've seen it. It's not a bad idea, actually, especially if you had GPS with an offset. You just pitter patter all day with that. It'd be pretty awesome. So we did take a little bit of water in my basement last night. Luckily it came in the window that's like three feet from a, a floor drain. So it literally just ran to a floor drain. There's nothing there for it to get wet. So 
Welcome to all Mary. Yeah. Two planners. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. And I will say, man, I, I could not fall asleep last night knowing that it was raining that hard and that we were probably going to take water in our basement. And not a lot you can do when it's raining like that. And I'm not going to go out in it and, like, you know. Excuse me, rain. Can you not, you know? And I still say the whole problem is the neighbor's downspout drains right into my backyard and it comes right across and boom. Yeah. No, left, you were spot on. Uh, I think I turned my computer off at 12.23 last night. I remember looking at the time like, yep, left was pretty, pretty spot on. Now, luckily it wasn't like severe. It wasn't a lot of wind. There was a lot of lightning. Uh, there was never any hail. So from that aspect, it was fine. It just dumped, just rain, 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 hard rain. So for like hours, because I was kind of still up and around the house about three. I talked to my dad. He got up for a minute and I was like, dude, it's been doing this since like just after midnight. And he was like, what? I was like, it's crazy. And he's like, okay. And he went back to bed and I just like, I can't sleep. So it might've been like four before I finally dozed off. I don't know. Way too late. That's all I know. All I know is it was too late. Some overlap, but it ends up being 23 meters. Well, that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome there, uh, Vegas Bowl. It's not bad, man. All right, so in theory, today, chat, we are going to last time here momentarily. Uh, well, momentarily, when I get done seeding, we're going to fast time until the sunflowers are ready. And then it'll be harvest time. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome on in. How's it going? So did the farm flood or do I not know? So I don't, I don't know. Um, the actual farm, you know, floods, a floods, a relative term, right? Like I'm sure there was water across the road in a couple spots on the way to the farm. I'm sure there's still water probably across the road in one spot right now because it takes forever to drain. Um, but like the actual buildings and stuff at the farm. Yeah, there was probably water in the buildings. Uh, so if you want to call that a flood, okay. Um, but like the river, the river didn't come get the farm. Like the river still with, you know, the rivers are within their banks by far. Because if nothing else, everything was really low here. So, like, it takes a while, you know? Um, so, like, some flash flooding, like, just boom from the rain? Sure. Probably. Do we have to roll? Oh, yeah, we will have to roll your right or uh, left. We'll do that before we pass time. Right. Um, so, like, did the farm flood? No, but, like, is it wet? really wet down there? Probably. Trent, you made it. Gone. You made it. You made it out of your field. Blow on fuel and everything, huh? Yeah. And it's raining. <laughs> uh, you can keep the rain, okay? For like a couple days. So. Use a lot of it because like you get a lot of it. Bro. The problem is it's not beneficial rain when it comes down that hard. You know? I say right, right now it's that nice soaking rain. Yeah, that's what we need, but need a couple days for this rain to kind of do its thing and then you know then then i'll take some more rain so but like the crabgrass is gonna go crazy now the clover at the farm oh god i'm just hoping it didn't beat up our pumpkins too much which again we didn't get a ton of rain or a ton of wind so the pumpkins hopefully will be okay 
though. They're shielded on two sides by car, a cornfield, so that, that usually helps, too. But we won't know till probably tomorrow. I don't think Dad will want to run down there tonight, because if, if we do, we'll probably just mud up the lane anyway. So, plus, if there's water over the road, you're, you know, not really supposed to drive through it. We've done it before. Not advisable. I will say, though, if there is water across the road that we've been in before, it's never like a creek or a stream or a river that's over the road. It's like there's a low spot on one side that fills up and it runs across the road to the other low spot on the other, you know? So, like, literally all that would happen is you might get pushed out into a cornfield, you know? Yeah. Uh, King Richard, uh, we're doing, we're a little, a little moist here in the St. Louis area, but other than that, we're, uh, we're doing okay. Trent, did you hear me talk about that, uh, uh, gauge on that, on that creek? Yeah, it went from like 2 to 20 feet. 24 feet. From 2 to 24. 24 feet overnight. That's a Crazy. lot of water. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're doing here in St. Louis just uh, a little moist, you could say. Oh, man. What's funny is if you look downstream on the Mississippi River out of St. Louis, from St. Louis South. Like, they're talking about a pretty good, like, jump. And it takes a lot of water, obviously, to make the Mississippi jump. Mississippi's a big river, obviously. So, it's, uh, it's something, that's for sure. Kind of crazy. Icebreaker, how you doing today? Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, y'all do need it, Kelly. I know, I know. We don't, uh, it's not uncommon for us to get like a four or six inch rain. Like that, that pretty much happens once or twice a year, you know, it happens. But to get 10 inches or more, uh, that's a lot, you know. Icebreaker, all good over here, you know. We're doing. I got a lot of stuff on my mind still from last week or two weeks ago, but we're doing, doing okay. Going. And listening to the tones go off is who knows what's getting toned out now, you know? They just said something about they found another tree down, so they're going to remove that. Yeah. Heard about a landslide earlier that was farming, which we don't normally deal with, you know, mudslides, landslides here. That's not something we, we normally deal with here in Missouri, at least around here. So, kind of crazy, chat. Not going to lie. Kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Bigger spoil. You're not wrong. GPS is great for making new fields. I still don't understand why GPS is not base game. It it just kind of it kind of blows my mind that it's not base game. To be completely honest with y'all, it really should be, in my opinion. Really, really should be. Right, cedar? You don't want to seed that spot? That's cool. I don't want you to seed that spot anyway. Because I do. But, you know. It's all good. All right. Run a little end row here. What did I just hit? What did I, what did I hit chat? There's nothing there. I don't know what I hit. Weird. Very strange chat. Wait, Carson didn't... How did you get that? 
How did you get that tractor, Dan, if Carson didn't leave? Did he come back and jump out of it or something? I missed that. No. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Live in a rural, rural. Can't say that word. Area. No fast internet. That sucks. Standing on it. Okay. Interesting. 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 They put GPS behind a paywall. You'd buy it in a heartbeat. Yeah. What is wrong? Chat. There's nothing there. What is wrong with my tractor? Two inches of rain or 12 inches of rain. The bugs. Yeah, it's, it's not beneficial rain. Basically, let's be real. When you get that kind of rain coming down that hard, it's not beneficial. There's a low spot in my backyard that was full of water last night. Okay, that might, like, the grass will turn green there. You know? But, like, beyond that, it's not beneficial rain. Oh, it's kind of unfortunate. I mean, if you're trying to fill up a, a pond, okay, that's good rain for that. But beyond that, not very beneficial, and it kind of sucks. I don't know what I hit there, chat, by the way. This game's possessed sometimes, I tell you. I'm back. Welcome back, Trent. I didn't hook it up for the record, Vegas Bowl. This was already sitting by a field, so. Uncle yeah. uh, came in to get a check. Do what? Had to go uh, mute because my uncle came and oh. gave him a. Uh, I have a sit rep, but what was going on, what I did. Gotcha. I gotcha. I won the planting race. I did. Not yeah. Boy farms him. Let's go. Herman. All right. Let's fill this bad boy up one last time. And oh. put it away. Figure out spell your mulcher is offset. Yeah, you like that? It's not straight. No. Or it's not off. even. That hurt your OCD, Trent? Not even. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> I think you would need a wider like front hitch to make that even, you know? Yeah. I mean, that works. But yeah, it, it works, works, but it's just... I know it's not even. <laughs> hey, you see, he lost internet for a couple days, Trent. So, you know, when you don't have internet, I, bad ideas just happen, you know? Yeah, you play single player farm sim. Or maybe good ideas happen. However, you want to look at that. Could be a good idea, actually. Alright, let's better patter. I saw Tony was in here yesterday. Were you talking with him at all? Yeah, Tony was here to, yesterday. Yeah, I was kind of. I was gonna join, and then I was just like, you know, I'm in my what I call like to call like my introvert time. Yeah. Like I just need to be left alone. So I didn't. Uh, I didn't join. Now where's the big red tractor? And he he went to go get food, and he actually came back. No. Not Tony. I wonder why that cub might slip in her running. Hey Al, what's going on? How are ya? Welcome in. You got a day off work? GG's. You gonna come down and help clean up the flood from last night, Big Al? I kinda got a day off work, in a way. Nice. Because of the rain. Dude, I would go... Dude, your brush hogging you've been doing, Trent? 
bro, put me in. I will brush hog all day. It's nice. It's just. It's so satisfied. Brush hog is just. Oh, it's so satisfied. Stuff I've been doing is so rough too. True. That our water help. way. Yeah. That doesn't help. But like, I almost tipped the tractor a couple of times because you can't. Well, this waterway hasn't been mown in probably five or six years. Oh. Okay, I'll and bring so my own with, tractor, okay? With my small ish tractor, plus a five foot bush hog, it's just really painful. Gotcha. Uh, Big Al, we got. Um, we got anywhere from. So let's let's just I'm going to name some towns in chat. Anything I'm naming, I don't live in. It's nowhere near me, but it's close enough where Big Al knows what I'm talking about. Big Al's from the area uh, like just west of, say, Winsville, down through the city and out out the east side of, of St. Louis. Uh, anywhere from probably like eight to 12 or, or more inches of rain, Big Al. And uh, there's a picture in Discord of of highway 70 at like uh mid rivers area where like there's that academy and a burlington and like that stuff was all underwater last night like all of it was underwater whoa hello leg spike what uh, hannah montana uh oh but yeah it is definitely satisfying for uh oh shocking. did the server just crash or did i crash uh oh uh oh, that could be a very big problem, chat. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah. So in that area, Big Al, it was absolutely just a river. So all right, chat. Let's flip to this scene really fast because you guys know I don't show y'all uh, the name of our game and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely not that. Because I like to keep it secret. Just saying. Secrets are good sometimes, chat. Yeah, Dan, has it said that I left yet? Yeah, Cause... I'm kind of glad I did finish mowing that water away. <laughs> Dude, it's I'll drive. Insane. I'll drive the 995 over with the brush hog trent. That four other fields. You know how long it would take me to drive to your place? <laughs> the brush. Yeah. Bro, it takes forever. It takes me like 45 minutes to drive, like not even in town, but close to town. And you're like three hours away from me. And a tractor, it takes forever. Oh, man. All right, chat. I might have to look at a website. This could be a really big problem. <laughs> I might have to come clean with you guys about something. Oh, goodness. Get banned off your own server again? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Any ounce under 500. Okay, so how do I do this chat? Uh, bu 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 this? Chat, I'm currently on the server website. I'm currently on a server website looking at it. I think our server went kapoop. On us, hard legs spike, and you're in the sunflower, but you're still in, right? I'm clean. What I can't come clean about this, chat. Uh, okay, it's still okay. Let me reload my game. I went all the way back out, chat, to like Steam. Let's try this. Oh, we still have more updates to do today, too. In your channel, timed out. Since I, oh no. And of course, Carson's not here to fix it, chat. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, the server doesn't even show up. <laughs> oh, chat. The best part is I don't know what I'm doing. User joined your channel. <laughs> Holy cow. I'll figure it out here in a second. Chat. Right, Big Al? It's, uh, it's not good, right? 
down. How do I like restart? How do I? I just want to restart the server. How do I do that? My server. I'm on my server. How do I restart the thing? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know how to restart it, chat. Uh, Lightning, I choose to plead the fifth on that question. Um, just so you're aware, I, I choose uh, to plead the fifth. All right. It's showing for you. Okay. Let me go back in here in a second. All right, we'll try it again here in a second, chat. Now, I don't think we'll, we'll lose. Well, I don't know what we'll lose. I don't know. I can't restart the server. I don't know how to on this website. I'm going to be real with you, chat. You, you guys know I'm transparent. No, I can't. Carson and I said we weren't going to tell anybody. <laughs> I'm not telling you guys. Okay, there's the server I'm joining right now. Allegedly. Oh, man. Uh, lightning, I can no longer, I cannot confirm or deny. That's unfortunate, Lord Barber. That's weird. Chad, I just remain, I'm going to, I plead the 12th amendment. Fifth, um, I don't want to talk about it. Off stream, off stream. Okay. Look, we didn't lose anything. I don't actually think the server crashed, by the way. I don't think it actually went down. I'm not sure what happened right there, chat, to be honest with y'all. Bottom out of sugar. Oh, man. We're doing an experiment. Hey, okay, chat. I don't know what you're talking about, chat. We'll see if it's when I set up GPS with this thing, because right when it did it before. You know, that's close enough to the edge of the field, right? All right. Have I changed server host? I don't know. Have I? Oh, I don't know. Dan, I think there's two of you, by the way. Because it shows one of you up by field 10. Well, somebody else joined. Gotta go through and get all our numbers back today, chat. Kind of annoying that you have to do that. I'm gonna be honest. And you gotta re-add grass every time, too. All right. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Carson did not join again. Carson never left. This is not Carson in front of me, Dan. It's a ghost to you. Just saying. Carson's in the homestead, bro. Unless there's a ghost Carson. Nope, it's Dan. See? Right there. Just get out of your tractor and get back in. It'll fix it. There you go. All right. Just keep all rolling, baby. But see, chat, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't lose anything. Leonard, I'm sorry, I can't tell you on the stream. There's something possibly cooking behind the scenes. That's all I'm going to say, okay? That's all I'm going to say, chat. You never know. Never know. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Does the roller do good and not miss anything? I think it does pretty good, yeah. Hey, Troy. Hey, Troy. There. I got you, Troy. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, see? The the red. Okay, you get you get the joke. And that was for the like half a percent of people that get the joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yo, I think he's still out there with his red hat on backwards somewhere. I really do. I'm just saying. Is pizza cooking? Sure. No. What does that mean? What does what mean? Oh, rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Uh, Leonard, uh, there's a potential, yes. We're, we're testing stuff out right now to see, you know, how it works. Uh, but there is a, uh, chance, yes, that, that might be happening. There's a, there's a chance. What do I want to tell you about something? I will just talk about the rain, man. It rains so hard here, Chad. <laughs> oh. And he's already complaining about the rain. I was chatting so confused it ain't funny. Good. Good. Leonard knows yeah. what I'm talking about. Well, at least with the with the one thing, I don't know. I don't know if Leonard knows about the chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water. Just saying. Oh. It's it's a it's a CD. It's a it's an album from. Uh, uh, oh, I thought you were talking about what Shane does. No. <laughs> Thanks, Leonard. No, I'm not putting a hot dog in my milk. I'm not Shane. Okay. Uh, why can't I tell you? Because there's no announcement to make yet. There might be an announcement and there might not be an announcement. We'll see. If things like what just happened keep happening, there won't be an announcement. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, okay? If you catch my drift, you catch my drift. If you don't, well, just stay tuned. Oh, well. Just stay tuned, you know? Yeah. Okay. Biscuits are good. <laughs> An hour from the shop. Dang left. Dang. Sean, you'll know someday, buddy, if it happens or not. I mean, I'm not saying that that's what it is, but, uh, it never hurts to, it never hurts to, you know, weigh your options. And, and if, if people want to talk, it never hurts to talk. That's what I'm going to say. Never hurts to talk. When can I make the announcement? I can't. I have no idea. No, no clue. To be determined. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Yeah. there's There really hasn't been any talks yet, okay? Let's just put it that way. Yeah, I told Carson last night, like, we're just not going to say anything about this. If the server wouldn't have had an issue, you guys would know nothing. Because I don't know how to reset them on this other website. I know what Carson and I are doing tonight, figuring out how to do that. Or maybe I need they yeah, that's some uh, I'm not gonna say anything else. Anyway, chat, uh how's the weather? Lovely, lovely weather today, right, chat? <laughs> oh man. A lovely weather today, right? <laughs> or they won't know, Troy, because nothing's gonna happen. It's just you know? When hey yo left, what? Um, excuse me? 